I would like to see the Marine Board institute some sort of restriction on jet boats. It's our public inherent right to utilize a resource. Jet boaters and fly fishermen are battling over the banks of the Rogue River between the Coal River Hatchery and the Tuvel Bridge after a petition to the Oregon Marine Board. The rules proposal is primarily to shift the actual use of this section of the river back more towards what it's been in the past. The frequency of the jet boat use has just, has just gone up substantially here, especially in the lower part of the section that we're petitioning about. Chuck Huntington is a member of the Rogue Fly Fishers, the group that helped author the petition. He says it's primarily about safety. It's not just a fly fisherman's issue. If you're a gear fisherman, you're probably as nervous about a jet boat going by your boat or by you wading in the river as a fly fisherman would be. Jet boat tour guides say the argument is about public rights to use the river. Public has a right to utilize their resource in a multi-use river situation as they see fit, and they shouldn't have those rights taken away. Huntington doesn't see it that way. On stream where there's an awful lot of jet boat traffic, um, including by some of these big commercial tour boats. I mean, they've established rules and everybody abides by them. It's just that there really aren't any special use rules for this upper section. Jackson County Commissioners decided to recommend that the Marine Board not make a new usage rule, so it's up to public input to change the course of the river one way or the other. Read the petition that's been submitted to the Marine Board, think about it a little bit, and then decide for themselves what they think about it. At Tuvel State Park, Matt Jordan, NBC5 News.